Yo, what is up everyone? Hope all's going well for you. Yo, welcome back to Get Jack. Now they continue off here in official PvP. We're back here in Atlas. Where we left kind of last time, something like that. Uh, we're gonna be heading out on the ocean, doing a little bit of gold here to start. I just want to see what BPs and how much gold we can get out of the remaining maps that we've got. So I went around the island kind of farming up all the ones for our specific area, and we really need a ton of gold to start working on the base defense um, because all of the gunners and things like that take that. And we we need to fully kit out our brig as well so i want to get a ton of gold to be able to like stock up don't have to do this every day or whatever just to pay the crew and whatnot um so i'm gonna be adding a couple things onto the boat here quick i think we made them last time actually the ship larder and things like that i just didn't have a chance to put them on um i really want to keep focusing on this boat the brig that we've got once you get a lot of levels into like weight and things like that we should be able to add more cannons and stuff but I really like this size ship compared to like a galleon or something. Let me get this up. So I'm going to place this kind of inside. The crew actually eat from this. We've got just two on the sails. Actually, somebody came and uh, killed one of them. They were f uh, shooting flame arrows at the ship. Uh, so they killed the front sail person. So I need to get a new one of those. Sadly, I need to like man that thing now. Um, I've been using the troth, but I can... I think I can probably just use this, honestly. The trough, I guess, we can use for, like, the animals and stuff like that, but... Let's toss the... Oh, it's in my hotbar. All right, we'll toss this here. This is actually pretty cool. Fit. No, no. I think I'm thinking, thinking this corner. This is going to do. So our crew will eat from that. I want to get crew on, like, all the cannons and things. Okay. Things like that, so we'll definitely work on that. I don't know if we'll do that today, but we're definitely going to get the gold. Um, they go through a ton. Like, daily, you're talking a couple hundred gold for, like, a full crew. I know the galleon takes a ton. Cool. They eat celery. But it looks like they prefer certain things. Okay. Now, I do have gold in all of their inventories. You can put this in the ship like resource bin but i wouldn't recommend it because say you're sitting here with a couple crew on your boat and like a galleon pulls up next to you with a full crew uh they will actually if they're in range take from your <laughs> ship container so if you've got a few ships in the harbor definitely well, we'll just put it through that person definitely keep that in mind so this is the diving platform I don't have any oil right now. So you put oil in that and you can like salvage ships. They just fixed how salvaging works. So if we see a shipwreck, I feel like we should probably try and get the resources back. I need a, I need a sword. Let me put these cannonballs away. So we've got this many maps. I think we should have enough gear in here. Decent amount of gold from last time. This is all unorganized. I'm just going to get everything I need here for weapons, and we should be all set. So we're going to sail out to the small island. It's kind of like a reef near us, and it makes it really easy to farm gold because it's a tiny island. So you can just kind of pop on the maps on your hotbar, and you can see the beam from anywhere. It's pretty easy. So we're going to head out over there, see what BPs we get, and then we will be heading probably for a longer voyage. I'm thinking we should probably tame up some stuff i'm thinking like one of the advanced things like a rhino or elephant or something just because i don't have any around the castle for farming i don't really have much of anything I, I wasn't focusing on tames i wanted to work on the boat you know so i'm gonna organize this get this all set and we will sail out yeah yeah it's pretty deep right me too. yeah yeah you I don't can think see it from really the shore really all right, let's do these. Let's let's make some gold. Let's wait for corn so we can get this too. But we can be swimming. I typed an app and I don't see it. Oh, it's AP. That's yep, yep. Got carrots, onions. Carrots? That's cool. Yeah. I'd like some bunnies. Berries. You got honey on here. Yeah. Ready to tame bears or? 
Yep, yep, I've got the honey and sugar. I actually just haven't moved it out of there since we did that. Uh, everything will be in, like, the upper captain's oh, okay. thing. Do you need carrot seeds? <laughs> What all do I need with this? Like a gun, a bow? Uh, just take like a sword. A spear. Or a spear, oh, okay. yeah. Just a melee really weapon. Oh. Alright. Nice, getting all kinds of discoveries. I haven't been here yet. Yeah. Let's do this. So we all just access it? Is that how it works? Oh, or? it actually just goes right into your inventory. Oh shit, okay. Nice. Shovel BP, 109 damage. Oof, we can beat people with our shovels. I had armor blueprints. You a lot of shield blueprints. Oh really? I got fur blueprint. I got a carriage blueprint. <laughs> I don't know if that does anything. Oh, 110 climbing pig, that might be good. Yeah. It might, Those... like, the carriages don't break, do they? Yeah, they slowly do, but oh, okay. I mean, I, I don't see any percentage on it or nothing. It just shows regular blueprint. What are these? Quartz. Okay. That's kind of good, though. This is all crystal here. Yeah, crystal. Oh, heavy shield blueprint. Fine plate blueprint. That's decent. And a mace. Got a fine flak. Oh, good, good. Uh, I think any flak will be good. Ooh, fine torch. I got a journeyman torch. Oh, really? What is the damage? Yeah, 117. Damn, that's actually pretty good, probably. It doesn't. It doesn't take any extra resources either. Just your basic. Really? Journeyman carbine. Journeyman Carbine. This was a good treasure chest, I think, because it was like quality four. Because I got a um journeyman plate legs. I got journeyman cloth. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> hey man, you'll stay nice and cool. <laughs> Cart blooper. Fishing rod. Two point nine. I got a fine pistol and fine fur. Or just fine flak legs. Or nice. not legs, but boots. I got a 102 carbine common. <laughs> Rip. One oh six climbing pick. Fine. We each around like 400 gold, huh? 370. Fine heavy shield. Ooh, I got a better chest piece, flak. 43 armor. No, I, that's, I haven't seen one like that. Fine. I got fur there. Wait. Sorry. Yeah, I can't it. wait. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you. Dang, oh, that okay. was a four point one as well. I got a journeyman uh hide loop. Dude, I got a journeyman uh pike one seventeen percent damage. It's actually pretty good, and then a journeyman fishing rod with two hundred percent effectiveness. Four point three. Ooh, journeyman boots. Nice. Flak boots. That means we got the whole set pretty much. Forty-two armor. One sixty fishing rods. And journeyman hide pants. 
Journeyman Fur Gauntlets. Oh, good. That's actually good. It's 1.7 melee damage multiplier for the Fur Gauntlets. Yeah, it still says one guardian is here. He, he must be bugged out. Yeah, that, that's when the person that spawns it dies first. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Is it. Do we wait? Is that what they did with that? Um, yeah, I waited like six or seven minutes with Vala and then he spawned it instead of me. Oh, here, yeah. And yeah, it sure. worked. But on the other one, we wait for like 10 minutes and didn't do anything, so. Try and spawn that one, or put on your hot bar. Yeah, do, we uh, do you have a shovel? Yeah. Yeah, it says it's the same. Okay. There's one guardian remaining. You can just toss it on the ground. Turn him in brass knuckle. Fine metal pick. Fine that might be good. Alright, I got oh 113 blunderbuss. Journeyman. I am overweight. Journeyman fur cap. I might have the yeah, whole getting, fur set. I'm getting pretty fat myself, but not yeah. overweight. Just I think I just only have one left. The storage box here. Right. It's the one thing I fucking hated doing. Goddamn, I'm gonna go off that one. Some cloth bleep peas. Just popcorn that shit. Journeyman torch blueprint. Yeah, Journeyman torch. Ooh. Not as good as the one I got before though. Fine torch. 106. 106, okay. Alright. That wait, let me just double check these ones. They're not keeping cloth. I don't I mean think you can. can. I mean, whatever, it don't matter, we'll figure Too bad there's not like a BP resource box where it's like stacks all the different types and you just can look at them in a separate... Right? That'd be some next level that's stuff. That's right. Alright, that's all we got at this one. There's like 10 more at the other smaller one. Alright, there we go. Done with that. I don't have to do that for a bit now. I'm kind of sick of farming gold, I'm gonna be real. Uh, but we got so many BPs. Now, they fixed like how much gold you get when you split it. Let me grab all these, trying to like organize them as best as I can. I'll give you a good idea. I'll just kind of scroll through these and you'll see kind of the best ones that we got from this run. Um, now for mass getting BPs, I think this is the way to go. Honestly, I really just want fine quality anyway. Even the journeyman with, you know, taking three of each type of resource, that's a hassle. <laughs> Honestly, I'd just like to probably get as good of fine bps as possible and use those for everyday stuff i mean yeah we'll make like journeyman or something crazy for for pvp or something but i'm not gonna do that on the daily so we're doing we're doing good on pretty much all of our sets and stuff i, I might make like the good plate or something they've got some good bonuses depending on what it is i don't want to go through each one of these individually to take forever though Okay, there were more hidden down in the bottom, in the tannery and stuff. By the way, that's where you should store your, your BPs and things. Uh, if you don't want to put it in, like, NPC or something, the tannery has the most uh, space in it. So that's perfect. Um, I'll, so much good stuff here. But obviously, this is because if you bring multiple people, they all get a BP. So even though they fix kind of, like, how you share the gold, um, you still want to go with as many people as possible. Get them to spawn on the boat and farm those bps because it you know you may as well get four bps from a treasure map than one by going by yourself or something but so much stuff i kind of want to just scroll through it but i'm trying to filter out all the bad while we put them into the bear okay i guess every time i'm trying to film something it's nighttime so i apologize it's a little bit dark and also it sucks that i've got this level up there you are I've got this level up thing on my screen because I'm trying to save my levels so I can keep my respects. I'm trying to hold on to those. So I want to practice a tame here quick. I haven't tamed any knockout or I guess it wouldn't really be knockout like 
bola tames i've done all the, like the passive ones we did like the cow and chicken and stuff like that but we're stepping it up we're gonna do a wolf because we're heading out to tame rhino soon and <laughs> i don't know how to tame anything with a bola so we're gonna figure this out if he will follow me these things will straight follow you to the end of the earth and murder you if you <laughs> Like, if you don't want to get attacked by them, but if you're trying to kite them, then they will not come. Let's go, dude. Let's go. But this is a decent wolf. And I've got a little area over here we can tame them in. I had to demolish the taming pen to make room for this wall, so it's not here anymore. Alright. Please don't eat my crops. Let's just knock them out, like, here. Is there some place I can sit where he isn't going to bite me? Alright, we might have to make a taming pen. I didn't really think this one through. Hold up one second. Okay, so I definitely thought that was going to be easier without a pen. You definitely need a pen. They just sit here and, like, chomp at you otherwise. If their face is in a wall, they don't, at least. So, you just get them down to, like, 10% or so-ish life. And then bolo them, and then you can feed them for, like, this certain amount of time. Okay, sorry, my bad. It's like two minutes every bola or so you have to tame. So he's going to take quite a few, like, knockouts. If you've ever played Ark, it's kind of like taming a Megalosaurus, I guess. Where they wake up during nighttime during the tame, but totally different. I don't mind it to, I don't know. I guess with a high-level difficult tame, this is going to be really annoying. But I guess with the wolf, it's not the worst. If it would stop biting me. Right, it's almost done. What is this saddle for this thing? I guess we can't... I guess we can't make a saddle. We need to do that in, like, a smithy or something. Alright, he's so close to being done. Like, two more feeds and it should be all set. We did have a couple of these, like, before, but... They're just so weak, and people lose them. Actually, somebody kited them off the edge when we were offline, like a griefer did. So that's where those went. But I don't, I don't know. I don't need them, really. It'll just make running around the island for maps and stuff a lot easier to use this. But other than that, I kind of just want a bear. They seem like the way to go. A bear and a rhino. Come on. Three seconds. Three seconds. It's almost done. There we go. All right. We've got a wolf. Our first bola tame. Look at them, level 22. They fixed the levels on these two, so all tames should get plus 30. Or, like, you can level them 30 times afterwards, so that's nice. They're not all garbage. You can, you can actually level them past, like, 30. All right, let's go hide you inside of here. Really, I just wanted to practice. If you die, that's okay. We'll just keep them on, like, neutral behind these gates if somebody, like, walks in. But now I want to tame a rhino. That's what we're going to be heading out to do. So, now that I know how to do it on a small scale, let's try a rhino. Get to the back cannon. They're gonna turn us to the Holy left side. Holy shit, second. that was bright. Okay. Can I do it up front too? What side is it on right now? Or is it behind, behind us? us? Behind us, okay. Shooting. Alright, I'm gonna turn us left as soon as we go to this tornado. Get ready, left side. Nice hits. Oh, what the Jesus fuck? I got on the free port. Push home. We're stuck die. not moving at all, by the way. Left side. Left side, left side. Nobody can. What do you mean? So there's someone captaining. The side of a tornado, so I can't see. So shoot. It's already in range. Oh, okay, maybe we go right, right, oh. right side, right side, right side, right side. Quick, quick, quick. Oh god. Oh shit. Fire with the AI, Ruben. Oh. I got one shot. Come on. 
fuck, I just almost dead. I'm almost dead. Back cannons, back cannons, back cannons. Nice. He's coming. Let's go, big boy. So we made it. We're here. Quite a bit away. This is like six sectors away or something like that. But we've got rhinos. We're going to see if we can tame one. If we can get it to the trap, that'd be nice. Oh, my God. Okay, well, that's, that's easier. Makes things easier. Oh, he's going after him. Shoot, this is going to be fun. Just got to get it over to this trap over here. Maybe it'll sink their boat. Let's go. Oh, it's coming. Damn, 70. Oh, damn. 70 what, right now? No, 70 is what I was hitting Jack for. Oh, <laughs> freaking wow, blasted that one. me. I need to put a wall. It's gonna have good melee. Well, I think he's naked. Yeah. But yeah, that thing hits hard. Okay, let's do this. Just like the, is this the same level as that wolf we tamed? I think so. Let's, so we'll see, we'll compare. Now we have wild turnips. So we went up to, this has actually been a really long trip. We went up to like a northern area because the turnips are in the snow. Let's, hold up one sec. That should be good, right? All right, we're good. Well, oh, he's gonna he's gonna wreck me with it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I knew it. Okay, I was rudely interrupted before. Just feeding this thing. <laughs> it's it's really fun. If you get him in the right spot, you can like get him without him hitting you. Like kind of like in his back shouldery area, but he's still he's still hitting me a lot. Don't you hurt that seagull. So anyway, I'm feeding him the wild beat, so it doesn't really do that much the taming effectiveness is actually pretty bad with wild ones um, if we take it home and like get the I just feel like he's gonna kill me if we get the grown turnips it'll be better jeez all right it's getting so close it started over once, sadly, around 30%, because you can't leave him for too long. He killed me, and I just couldn't get my body back in time, because he just kept <laughs> kept killing me every time I came near it, basically. So it restarted, but I found kind of his blind spots. It's a little bit easier if you do it near this wall. As you can see, that blocks it completely. The doors, he will still hit you through, but the walls are better. Okay, this should be it. I'm so happy for this to be done. I've been taming this thing forever. And the thing is, nice. they've got the 2.5 tame like going on right now for the event or whatever. And it's still this bad. I cannot believe how long it takes for these. Okay, so we've got quite a few rhinos. We're stocking them up. Yeah. And by the way, we brought the dinghies to do like the elephants last time and it was a bad idea you can just whistle them and they just follow you like teleport up to the deck yeah we didn't think that that was a thing but look at this our fifth rhino <laughs> this one's gonna be for my no oh my god there's more i thought we had five holy shit there's a lot of rhinos here we borrow a saddle from you get this one over here this one will be the one that we use down at our castle and the rest are just for everyone else spreading them around Okay, it was an insanely long journey to get that rhino back. Uh, it's actually a couple days later now. We've been just kind of doing random stuff around the base, getting things set. And I'll tell you one thing, stone is a lot easier now. So I'm making like some crazy 
some crazy structures and stuff we're gonna put up top with our castle and i've got all of um the materials for a bunch of these guns they're kind of like the turrets of this game you man them with the ai and then they actually function as like a turret basically so we've got a nice little wall going on here my boy sam was kind of building this area up working on this so we've got our little farming outpost pretty much done i think what we need to do now is an elevator up to the top to get this uh rhino up here but we've got a nice little view some sloped roofs going over so we can see now but look at him black dynamite He's level 42 now, so he's a beast. Straight beast. Let's see if I can wiggle him out. I really want to get a pen as quickly as possible. The thing that I'm most worried about is losing this. <laughs> it's our most prized possession. I think I'm going to go all HP into him, but I haven't decided yet. But there, there's a little setup. Of course, we've got the upper castle with all of our good stuff, but for a farming area... It's pretty nice. We luckily got all these gates done in time. Like, if you guys don't know, they patched how much these gates cost. And initially, they just cost you know, the normal stuff that stone costs. Now, the outer gate costs like 200 alloy, and the inner part costs like 100 alloy. So, you're talking almost 600 metal for a gate. <laughs> uh, I'm happy that we got those out of the way. But check this out. He gets more on the charge as well, like if you charge around and, and hit things going at full speed, but he gets a lot of berries, celery, uh, stone, and actually decent amount of flint too, passively. When you're doing like the stone, you may as well stock up on flint, but the problem is their weight is garbage. They don't reduce stone at all, so they kind of fill up quickly. You gotta ferry things back really often, but... You know, it's a trade-off. At least you're not repairing picks and things like that. He does get thatch, too, from these trees, but not very much. So it's really not worth it. But check this out. <laughs> 112 damage. It's actually a pretty beefy hit as well. But I love this thing. Definitely the coolest tame that we have so far. We have an elephant, or we, like, I have one of my elephants at the other base that we've got, but I don't want to bring him here yet because I really don't want to lose anything sitting out in the open. It's not really out in the open, but we need a roof over it, like, ASAP. So that's what I'm working on, working on a pen and getting a wall up on our upper castle area as well. So we're going to start to, or continue off there uh, next time, but we got our rhino, and we got a lot to work with now. So that's where we're going to stop for today. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that thumbs up for me and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Y'all have a great Easter day, and of course, we'll catch you next time.